I have no food left to sue now, but I'll be, we'll be fine. Try and maul it. Oh my god! Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god! You just witnessed, by far, the greatest moment of my RuneScape playing career. As a player, as a streamer, as anything. But to fully appreciate it and to fully understand it, we need to talk about why Duo Hard Mode Virago is so hard. Let's rewind. It's just like normal Virago, except the boss throws two bombs at a time. So if you're duoing, everyone gets a bomb. If you're in melee distance, you have to flick the bombs and the melee swipes. Mess one up and you have to try again from the start. Unlike normal mode, you have to make it through every single Virago week back to back to back to back. You have to finish Ceilings, then Scopulus, then Vitalis, then Green Bomb, then Team Split, and then Purple Bomb. If you manage to make it through all of those phases, you get to the real challenge, phases 10 and 11. On phases 10 and 11, the boss doesn't have HP, and it's all about push. As the boss damages you, you get pushed backwards. As you damage the boss, you push him forward. Get to the end and you can finish off the boss, make too many mistakes, and you get insta-killed. It isn't so much a DPS test as much as a test of mechanics. If you want to stand a chance, you need to be perfect. Make one mistake at any stage of this, and it's back to phase one. You have to do it all over again. This story begins seven months ago. My friends Malad and Wistot had been trying to do a hard mode of Virago for the past few months, and they had the credentials to do it. They've duoed Angel of Death, trioed Seven Man Solak, and trioed Hard Mode Virago on every single rotation. As a joke, I told Mel he should do an hour or two of duo hard mode attempts with me, the punchline being how grossly not up to the task I would be. To my complete shock, he sent me a preset, and just like that, we were off. I had no idea that would be the start of an over half year, multiple hundred hour journey. It went exactly how you would expect. Oh! Oh, but. We're sharing blues? Ah! Uh, got him, got him, got him. Oh no! Oh no, I was still being. It can't. My cade got cleared. Whoa! Oh, I forgot about the blue. I'm so sorry. I just realized something. <laughs> Is that off? Oh no. <sighs> oh, come on, dude. Two blues at the same time? Oh no, my ring wasn't on. <laughs> Oh man, this is, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, I'm dead. But by some miracle, at the end of the first day, after dying every way possible, one kill worked out. I mean, we didn't kill the boss or anything, but we made it all the way to phase nine. I wasn't expecting to make it past phase three, and this is when things got serious for me. Hope is a powerful thing, and after a full two hours of getting whooped by Virago so hard that death was about to pull out a spare mattress for me to sleep on, I felt like it wasn't impossible. Chances would be very slim, and I wasn't close to where I needed to be, but I wasn't looking for something easy, I was just looking for possible. Over the course of tens of hours, I kept practicing. It was expensive and it was frustrating at times, but I gradually got more consistent, and consistency is everything in duo hard mode. In the first week of attempts, I only saw phase 10 once. This is what it looked like. Phase 10 is really hard. You have to manage adrenaline building, damage output, intercept timing, healing your partner, and debuffing the boss all at the same time. And what you do at any given point depends entirely on how the boss pushes, which can be completely down to luck. It's not a static rotation, and the only way to get used to it is to practice it. That's not looking good. Oh, that's not looking good. Oh, oh we, got, we got a hook here. It's been a while since I've seen that. Come we on, got boy. absolutely oof there. Oh my goodness. I spent an entire week trying to get here, and I barely survived two minutes into the phase. That wasn't anywhere close to good enough. Tactical nuke incoming! It's really hard to get good at something if you can only practice it once for two minutes every week. So I knew I had to work on the first nine phases. Over the next four months, I got better and better. And before long, instead of waiting a full week to see phase 10, I would get there almost every hour. I hadn't finished the phase once, but it was progress. Now, that being said, making it to phase 10 about once every hour still leaves plenty of minutes for deaths. <laughs> what? Oh boy. Are you kidding me? Type of... Oh god! No! Oh my... Are you kidding me? Phase 10 is where we really hit the wall. You can execute every single click perfectly for five straight minutes, but if you mess up even once, you can lose all of that progress in seconds flat. I spent months in this phase. Sometimes we'd get one square off the end, and sometimes we'd survive only two minutes, but gradually we noticed a change. We'd stopped getting insta-kill. 
This meant that our deaths were running out of supplies or life points and not because the phase was too hard to do. It doesn't seem like much, but being able to hold your own in a push phase is a really big deal. Whether it's normal mode or hard mode, it means the phase can be completed. Kind of weird, because I didn't... Oh my god! Are you freaking kidding me? Did you see that? This was pretty much right when I knew we'd be able to do it. And it came out of something that some might even think would be a negative. We dropped into phase 10 at 21 minutes into this kill, and if I fast forward 25 minutes, we're still in the exact same phase. We couldn't push Virago to the end, but we didn't get insta-killed either. There were times that we were two squares off, and there were times that we weren't anywhere close and we'd lost all of our progress. But every time we messed up, we were able to get ourselves out of that situation. We ended up letting ourselves die when we completely ran out of prayer, and we'd been almost completely out of food for the previous 10 minutes as well. It wasn't so much that this was a very good run of things or it was perfectly executed, but being able to practice in this phase for 25 straight minutes was more practice than I'd had in my first couple months of trying to duo hard mode Virago in one single kill. And this wasn't long before we were able to complete the phase. Go. That concludes the duo hard mode. Oh, oh yeah. There's there's phase eleven. Yeah. So once you get through phase ten, there's uh there's a whole other phase. Actual disaster. All that just for me to crack on my duo partner on Reflect. Phase 11 is a lot more open rotationally than phase 10, so you can't study it quite as much. There's a lot more time to deal damage, but there's also a lot more opportunity to take damage. Instead of just doing team splits, on phase 11, Virago also throws a purple bomb. Along with this comes five blue bombs, and you need to deal with all of them without any defensive abilities. I said earlier in this video that anytime Virago damages you, the boss also pushes. This isn't based on how much damage you take, so a lot of defensive abilities don't actually help mitigate pushback at all. A good example of this is Devotion. It will reduce the damage to zero, but the pushback is still completely full. On phase 11, you have to save your barricade ability for outside of the team split. What this means is during the purple bomb special attack with the five blue bombs as well, there are no defensives you can use to mitigate the pushback. If you were to use something like Devotion, you'd just be wasting your adrenaline and you wouldn't make any more progress at the boss. The only way to avoid getting pushed back all the way to the start is to deal as much damage as you can. So it's pretty much flat line, straight line damage, and a whole lot of it. That's never been my strong suit in this game. I'm great with mechanics, but my flat out DPS is not quite up to scratch, and that made this phase harder than phase 10. I've been in the fight for almost 41 minutes, and we found ourselves one single square off the end of the kill. One square off mauling phase 11 and completing a hard mode Virago duo. One of, if not the single hardest PVM challenge in the entire game. We tried everything, and the boss just wouldn't push. Over the next 10 minutes, we lost the ground we had made, we ran out of supplies, and just like that, it was all the way back to the start. We were literally so close I could taste it. I thought that was it, and I thought we would finally be done. But it wasn't to be, and we had to keep trying. That's on. Zoro, are you good? Is he DC'd? Did he DC? He DC'd.
You guys already know this isn't a story that ends in failure. After over 200 trips to Virago and 200 failures, it was finally time to duo hard mode Virago. I had a feeling we were in the last few attempts when we started to consistently get to phase 11, and for that reason, I strapped on my heart rate monitor. I get this comment every single time I use the heart rate monitor that like, oh my god, Ryan, your heart is unhealthy, you're gonna die. My heart is completely healthy, I'm a runner. I think what people do is they see my heart rate when I'm doing something stressful in-game, and then they say, oh my god, your resting heart rate is insane. But that's just not what a resting heart rate is. I'm not in relaxation when I'm streaming, so anyway, my heart's completely healthy. I just wanted to say, you guys don't need to worry, and it's time to duo hard mode Virago. This was purely and 100% for the sake of science, and I wanted to compare my duo hard mode Virago heart rate to my heart rate while I'm running a race. And interestingly enough, well, you'll see at the end. Phases 1 and 2 are time-locked, so we sped through them. Phase 3 is where the real challenge starts.
Try and maul it. Oh my god! Oh my god, we did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! 177. Eh, not bad. That concludes the duo hard mode Virago journey. This was by far the most enjoyable thing I've ever done in this game. To be able to put hundreds of hours into something and slowly but surely work towards it was absolutely fantastic, and it was so rewarding. It doesn't matter if it's duo normal mode or duo hard mode or even your first Araxor kill. Being able to set your sights on something and work towards it is what makes this game special to me. That being said, duo hard mode is a team sport, and I just wanted to say a quick thank you to the four people who I did attempts with. So a massive thank you to Mel, to Justin, to Foxus, and of course to Zoro. These people went above and beyond to help me, and there's no way I could have done it without them. I'm officially the 19th person to duo hard mode Virago, and that will forever be a thing that I did. So thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll catch you in the next one. One thing I didn't mention in this video is sometimes people ask like where the audio is from both of us because it might be really cool to listen to our calls and all that stuff that's going on. And interestingly enough, Zoro, who is the person I went and actually got the eventual duo hard mode kill with, does not speak in voice chat. So he could hear what I was saying the entire time, but he wasn't actually saying words back, which is why you see us using the in-game chat once in a while. So anyway, I thought I would add, there is no audio in this one because there was no audio. We were not talking. Anyway guys, for real this time, that's it from me, and I will catch you guys in the next one.